Now, if you look at what we've been going through, a lot of the issues we have is with injuries, right? We have so many injuries and sometimes we just don't know what to do with it, y'all. But it seems like the Heat are taking precautions, right? So like when you think about Tyler Hero being out, also Kevin Love being out, also Jimmy sitting out, I think the Heat have finally realized that, you know, we got to take precautions with these players. We always have this thing that happens to us is when we get to that place where we're trying to get to, we unfortunately suffer injuries, right? And listen, it's part of the game. Teams suffer injuries all the time. But with the Miami Heat, I think they're starting to realize that we need to kind of scale it back a little bit. And when I say that, I'm not saying to not purposely play players. I'm just saying that taking precautions is probably the best way to go. These guys, man, like Kevin Love and Jimmy Butler, these guys are important to the playoff run super important to a playoff run we need kevin love regardless of how you look at it in the playoffs you play different teams and every time you play another team there's always that one utility guy that makes the biggest difference so you think about a guy like kevin love we need a kevin love to make these playoff runs so when you got kevin love sitting out due to an injury whatever it may be those guys like you see the Haywood High Smiths, the Thomas Bryant, the DeLon Wrights, Patty Mills. The bare minimum is make the playoffs. Because we all know one thing for sure. Nobody gives a shit about what seed you are anymore. We don't care. Let me tell, all right, let me tell you something. <laughs> we don't care. Like first seed means absolutely nothing in the NBA anymore. Because we've seen it all the time. And the Miami Heat definitely proved this when they were the eighth seed and made it to the NBA Finals. We got to look at it like that. Nobody really cares about what seed you are in the Eastern Conference anymore. But, but I'm the best. It's good for you to boast. It's good for boasting rights to be like, yeah, we was the number one seed. But at the end of the day, nobody cared. Because the number eight seed could easily knock off the number one seed at any given moment. Just how it is in the NBA. So I think the Miami Heat are just basically like, you know what? We need our guys healthy. You know, let's the bare minimum, make it to the playoffs. And then over there, it's time to turn up. That's how it got to go. The Miami Heat are literally the eighth seed right now, which is at the bottom. Obviously, Boston is looking amazing out there. And we just... Just lost to the Sixers. The bright side to this is Terry Rozier is looking good out there. Bam Adebayo is continuing to do his thing. Um, Hawkins is still looking amazing out there. Um, we just hope Duncan Robinson continues what he's doing. Am I worried about the Heat? Not really. Am I worried about these injuries? Of course, because that's the one thing that seems to haunt us every time we make it far enough. And listen, if you have not subscribed, make sure you go down there, hit that subscribe button, violate that like button so we can set the YouTube algorithm off fire. Look, y'all already know what it is. If you want to support the channel, man, go to the royaltybrand.com. Got royalty branded hoodies out there, man. We got all types of designs, man. If you feel in any of them, go over there and copy some. All you got to do is go to the royaltybrand.com, man. It's a bunch of merch over there and you can cop stuff over there if you want to get some miami heat inspired merch you can go to the amazon store and the link will be in the description as well man we got it all out here man but y'all know what it is it's your boy goods king me sports you know the vibes i'm making a change today the link have been taking the pain away i heard you was giving your chain away it's kind of like giving your fame away what's wrong with you i sit in a box where the owners do a boss is a road that i've grown it to i love you to death but i told you the truth I Hey